Hello there, everybody. Happy Friday evening to you. Aren't Fridays just great? <laughs> I'm like a daily worker, but there's just still like something about that Friday evening vibe. Um, of course, I'll get up at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning and I'll start working. But I remember when I had like day jobs. I tell you, especially when my children were small and I was teaching school, that it was like, I don't, you just, you physically, mentally, spiritually just exhale on a Friday evening. It just is such a sweet feeling in the, in the air. Even after all these years, it's like, <gasps> <sighs> I've got three journals to go into the shop. I really do appreciate you guys supporting the journals that I listed this morning. Um, I've been pretty steadily making things for the shop. My last shipping day is Monday, so orders need to be in by Saturday, which is tomorrow. I will continue to release journals, but... I will not ship them. Um, Monday's my last shipping day. And I'm still uncertain as to like what is going to happen uh, when I spend time away from the studio. Still not sure. Uh, the first journal that I'd love to show you guys tonight is our Jelly Roll style journal. This is the... Uh, the brown fabric, uh, black, and has some, these are kind of orangey copper colored flowers. I just, I love Jelly Roll. And like I said, you know, I'm kind of late to the party on the whole Jelly Roll thing. Really interested to know how you guys use this two and a half by, I think it's two and a half inches by 44 or 45 in length, right? Um, but I'm really enjoying this technique. These books, you guys, are made from corrugated cardboard. I don't have any food packaging at this moment, and Chris is getting a lot of packages in. When he, you know, when he orders from Amazon or when he ordered music equipment this week from Amazon, so I do have big boxes to work with, which is awesome. Um, the spines on these journals are two inches. They're very random. I'm I'm kind of running out of beads, so I'm really kind of dipping back into my bead stock, my older bead stock, uh, to find things that I really do like. And I love the way this one turned out. It's kind of a mixture of um glass beads, faceted beads, but it also has some metal elements to it. So I thought it turned out really, really sweetly. This one's finished with a number 26 Tim Holtz Brad. I need to reorder these because I am kind of running out of these as well. Um, the These, like I said, this cardboard is really heavy duty, you guys. So we don't get any of that bowing that we would on a lighter kind of uh, of food packaging, you know. So the books are very compact. Uh, five by seven. You can see that she's a you know she's just chock full of things for you to play with. Let's go through here and let's see what we have. I'm really pleased with the way that that the um, the interior turned out on these books. We've got little stamped elements. This one says, you're the cream in my coffee. A little bit of um, dye. I think this is Dilutions. My friend LS sent that to me. This is a curated collage collection. I've also been thinking, and that might be something that I could do at my sister's house is, um, do curated collage collections and then I can just put them in you know a regular mailing envelope and mail them that way and that might be just like one of those um, projects that I might do when I'm at her house we have the the sprayed pieces that we like so much um, 
This is from Martha Stewart Living. I, I really love those recipe cards that you find in so many publications. They're to me, they're always fun. I, I will, you know, I've um, gosh, you know, there was a time when I had cookbooks. I had, <laughs> but I've never been a great cook. But I'm very interested in cooking, kind of like my mom. My mom. I, my mom is a simple cook, you know, to her. I mean, a great meal when I was growing up, it was coleslaw and um, pinto beans, maybe a slice of tomato, onion, and my mom's cornbread. She makes the best cornbread in the world. And she always goes, you can make it. And I'm like, no, I cannot. <laughs> I can't make cornbread like you do. This says Ancestry, Ancestor, and I thought that this sticker along with the, the, um, the aviation, um, the aviation little card that we have here, along with the hat, just kind of spoke to origins and, you know, the, the realization or the, uh, the journey of finding out where you came from, you know, what your heredity is, what your ancestry is like. It just seems to be the kind that, you know, the time of year that we're, you know, we're around our families and we're just curious about uh, from whence we come, right? This is vintage text in several different languages. I love this because you have such uh, diversity in the papers, you know, that um, the the patina of the papers is so interesting. That incredible shell book <laughs> that I got that I love so much. We have, um, this is just a, a little piece from a magazine that shows the ocean. Did not get to the ocean this year. Sure would like to get there. <sighs> and I gotta get there soon, I feel like. <laughs> The, I did use our coffee paper that uh, was in the paper pad that I bought a couple weeks ago. Just so much fun. I'm totally out of paper now, so going to have to go to Michael soon. This says Hug in a Mug, and it has a bookmark under here. It says coffee is always a good idea. Yes, it is. I love coffee at night, but I cannot drink it at night. It really does disturb my sleep. We got a little bit of Christmas and Christmas countdown here. There's a doily in the back, New Year's right here. This is from a book called The Little Eskimo Girl. It is a vintage golden book that was really damaged, so I had to kind of cut things away from it, but it was just so beautiful to not use. I love this corrugated cardboard uh, pumpkin here. More seashells for you to play with. Sprayed items. 1938 meals tested, tasted, and approved. Shrimp, shrimp canopy. Oh, that sounds really good right now. I'm very hungry. And it's one of those nights where you're just going to have to find something to eat. <laughs> I did make a nice tuna casserole for our lunch, but we had lunch like at, at four o'clock this afternoon. And then Chris had um, an unexpected show, so he's already taken off for the evening. So it's going to be like one of those, it's a scavenger hunt. <laughs> That's what it is. We've got some tooled leather for you guys to play with. Pattern instructions from a vintage pattern. I really love these uh, pieces that Miss Gale sent. These are upholstery samples that are just awesome. Um, love the little Halloween imagery. Just the the whole way this little this little page comes together. I mean that's that's curated stuff right there, you guys. And I know that you can make something so beautiful out of it. You folks are so creative. And I feel really blessed to know all of you. Um, when you send me like your photos at Facebook uh, about the, the things that you're working on. It is just amazing to know you guys. You're, you're just awesome artists, all of you. And it makes me feel so good that you guys 
can take these books and you know tear them apart and redo them and deconstruct them and reconstruct them it's just such a wonderful thing co-creation at its very best as our friend abraham would say we've got a curated collage collection right here for you some stamped images to play with more of the coffee paper which i really dig i think it's so much fun a napkin to play with some heart stickers now hearts aren't just for valentine's i think they're appropriate at any time of year this is an oversized chippy i love the way all these papers go together this is my dream. That's my dream porch. Look, there's the ocean. There's like a little nectarine tree right here. Not really crazy about the pastels, but you know, it could be any color, any decor. That is the happy space right there, the ocean. A little flower that kind of goes with all that color theme as well. Another curated collage collection for you guys this says love a little sticker that says perfect a tufted titmouse these are stickers and you can play with those um you know got a little bit of easter a little bit of halloween a little bit of new year's um another piece that is a curated collage collection this one says thrive Look at the cute, cute little toenails. I don't do that. I don't paint my toenails or my fingernails. I think because my fingers, I, I didn't get that chip because I was a guitar player. And, you know, I mean, we just didn't, I didn't paint my fingernails because, I mean, what's the point, right? <laughs> I know there are people who do, like Dolly Parton, man. Dolly Parton can play guitar with those talons i don't know how she does it this is from our sherlock holmes book i thought that the sugar skull kind of just went really nicely with that page this is a rub-on that says bless this house this is from the uh what people do childcraft encyclopedia showing the uh, united airlines uh, catering service loading food onto an airplane Another rub-on that says, eat, drink, and be merry. And then there's a little um, um, magazine piece of people doing just that. Eat, eating, drinking, and being merry. How do you guys celebrate New Year's? I'm going to celebrate it by going to bed at 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> Yay, New Year's! <laughs> Yay, 2020! <laughs> This is one of our um, embroidered doilies that Miss T from Down Under sent. It's such a pretty piece. The way that this was arranged, there was a big white space right here. So I decided to take one of our little Lucy's and just what I did here was I just used some sticky tape and put this on here. And I really do like the way that it turned out. And you've got this super cool vintage embroidery. Oh, the stories that could tell. You know, who needs ancestry DNA when you have vintage embroidery to play with? The bead strand is a combination of cracked glass beads and faceted beads as well as fabric and paper beads. This is a 5 by 7 book. It has a 2-inch spine. Remember that these are 45, you guys, because they have an embroidered piece on them. A vintage embroidered piece. This is a fiddly closure. So I'm going to push this down and then kind of just pull like that. I, um... Chris went and picked up my inventory at Emily's. So I have used that inventory in these books so you'll see evidence of that of course these little handmade buttons that i do um so much fun to play with those so i'm really happy to be able to share those with you guys we have uh, many books in here to play with 
a curated collage collection that says my haven and it is of a beautiful meditating girl numbers to play with some beautiful magazine images the vintage eskimo girl book look what i found <laughs> a christmas story couldn't believe it what a cool image to just run across in a magazine These are uh, sprayed sheets of eight and a half by 11. That food label was just too cool to not use for something. And I like the way that the green vegetables play along with the green um, dilution spray here. I thought that was just fun looking. I like the way this bed looks. You know, when we think of bed and we think of rest, um, you know, we always want this calm and beautiful place. My bedroom is, is really, I love my bedroom, but it's, it's still got, um, we still have boxes in it from our Star Trek collection that we're trying to sell. And, um, but there's never a time that I get in my bed at night and I, think oh well this isn't a very cozy or a very pretty place because to me it is my place of peace it is my haven I love 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 going to bed my sister and I were talking about that today we were like you know my sister is a very busy real estate agent and and um I, I said, what are you doing? She said, I'm going home and I'm putting on my PJs. And I was like, oh, it's so exciting. <laughs> I love to put on my PJs. Do you remember when you used to hate it when you were a little child? Oh, I could not stand it, man. Didn't want to didn't wanna be in the PJs. Didn't want to be in the bed. Uh, this looks like um, Burano in Italy. I'm not sure if it is or not, but it sure does look like it. So I was able to use some of my bigger cards uh, that I had at Emily's shop. Like I said, it's I did a lot of spring stuff, but this did not have time to do anything seasonal for Miss M. Uh, this says the heat is on. Collage collection right there for you to do a mixed media piece. Or parcel it out and use it in different ways. We've got loose Lucy's in here. Little Lucy's, y'all. Little sewn Lucy's for you to play with. Excuse me. I bleeped. I did, I did that yesterday. I've been drinking a whole lot of water. And I think that when I talk and drink water, that that's when I, that's when I burp. I can't help it. I love this paper. I love this little beetle bugs. And I love this marble paper too. And seashells for us to play around with. Some burlap right here. A nice size. Um, that's almost a five by seven card right there. You could do a mixed media on that and send it out to somebody. A little Lucy right here, bookmarks and tags for you to play with, some feathers, little notepads that are put together with a brad. Got to get some more brads. Got to get some more. A little bit of Halloween. The sweet little sugar skulls. Ducks. It'll be Easter soon. This is a huge piece of tissue paper, pattern paper for you to play with. This is kind of the stylized photo of RVA. Again, you know, push, lift, and then put your closure back there. This is a little bit of a wild child on the spawn. I really love keys, and this has been a fabric that we have really used, and I found a little bit more of it. You know, every every time I think, well, that's the end of that, then, you know, luckily, I will go to another little fabric stash, and there will be some more. It has the word hope, and a dove, and a key on the spine. 
Uh, it's finished with a Tim Holtz brad that says chew. It does have a thinner piece of stretchy string here um, because I'm, I'm out of stretchy string as well. It seems like I'm running out of everything, but I've, we've been making a lot of journals, haven't we, friends? We've been making them like crazy. A uh, little Loose Lucy here. This isn't a Loose Lucy. This is a Lil Lucy. This is a sewn tab. And it does have a key on it. I love map imagery this time of year. You know, you've got, I mean, you've got a lot to think about here. So we have a map. We have flip-flops. And we have a, a boat cruising on uh, a lake. You know, and I mean, think about that. Think about traveling and where you want to go and what you want to do. And do you want to travel or do you not want to travel? Has your life been about traveling? I have a friend who is a traveling. He teaches people how to use imaging machines. So he is like a medical expert in these imaging machines. It's really interesting. But he is gone all the time. Um, my brother-in-law is a lighting director. Light, he's a lighting crew chief for all kinds of people. Um, you know, he's he's done everybody from Queen to um, Guns N' Roses. You know, all kinds of people over all. I mean, he's did he's done this for like thirty-five years, longer than that maybe. Um, so, you know, he's he's an experienced traveler. He's gone all the time. I think that I would like to travel. I think it was a little hard to travel overseas, though it was wonderful. But I, I really do think it would be nice to kind of take in the United States. I did see the United States, but I saw it from a van at night. I can tell you that Iowa has a lot of corn. Because you would go to sleep and there'd be corn and you'd wake up and there'd be corn. Um, but when you are doing that kind of work, when, when you are touring, you don't see anything. I mean, you get to the venue and it's dark and you do the show and it's dark and you check into the hotel and it's dark. And then when daylight comes, you got to get everybody up and get everybody in the van and then you go and then you drive and... You know, you're going to the next place and you don't, you don't get to, um, you don't get to experience the culture of, of anywhere. You know, you're, you're there, you do the show and then you're gone. You're gone someplace else. And it sounds like fun and there are a lot of fun things that happen, but kind of a hard life. Musicians have, it's a hard life. Hard to be away from your family, hard to be away from your loved ones. So if you see a musician this weekend, you give him or her a hefty tip and tell them that you appreciate them. This is a piece from Miss R. She sent me coffee bags and I love them. They smell so good, you guys. I mean, it's like, this is called Mississippi Grog. And um, I just cut it off the label. So we even have a little bit of coffee right here. I'll try and get that off. But I really don't want to because it smells so good. Oh my gosh. It just makes the whole, like the whole book has this wonderful coffee aroma. I love the way these things go together. That sweet blue and kind of the sky blue. Boston brown bread recipe. A timesheet. You know, you think about that. Uh, overtime hours. How many overtime hours do you feel like you work? We don't do timesheets anymore. Everything's digital. Like the whole, you know, eventually we won't have keys. We'll have scanners and keypads and stuff like that. It's odd how, how things will be disappearing. Like the old rotary telephone. That will disappear as well. 
Of course, picking things up at Emily's, I have a nice stash of, um, of tags. Um, so I did include one in here. And of course, my handmade homemade buttons. A little bit of fabric for you. This is a rolled paper rose. I thought the ice cream went really nicely with the Eskimo scenes that we have right here. Blah, blah, blah. Reminds me of this past week. In the northern regions, blah, blah, blah. Nothing gets done. Brutiful day. And some sprayed elements for you. There's a map back here. It's getting hard to um, turn the pages at this point. Of course, we can use the books like this, or we can put them like this on our desk, and we can rifle through them and choose images and colors and do collage collection work and art trading cards and all kinds of stuff like that. All right, guys, I am going to get these in the shop later on tonight it is friday evening i think it's about eight o'clock so i should have these in the shop um, a little later on today i've got three more um, on my desk and should have three more in the shop tomorrow thank you guys so much for your support thank you thank you thank you i'll talk to you soon take care bye